If we were out at a location with odor concerns, uh, first things first, we would take some deep breaths, clear our nose, and then you've got a number of observations you're going to write down, the first thing being the weather, so we'd record that. Uh, after that, you're going to grab the nasal ranger, and I've got it set at zero, so right now there's nothing. So I'm going to start at 60, which is the highest detection threshold. And if I can smell something at 60, it's a pretty strong odor. Whoever's around here that we can attribute this to is having a really bad day if I can get a 60. So then I'm going to take some deep breaths in and out and make sure that I'm getting enough airflow until I'm confident that either I am detecting something or I'm not detecting something. So. at a 60 detection threshold. So I'm gonna clear my nose, I'm gonna change the filter so that there's nothing coming through. And we're gonna try again at 30 and see if we can get anything. We're not getting anything quite yet, so once again, take a few deep breaths, make sure that we're not getting any potential odors. And now we switch down to the 15 detection threshold. Let's see if we can get anything. I'm getting something, so my next step is to get out our site-specific odor wheel that's been developed for this municipality. And I'm gonna look at all my possible descriptors that we have to select from. As I'm looking at this, I'm gonna keep breathing in and out through the nasal ranger to make sure that whatever odor I'm getting, I'm able to describe in a consistent manner. I've detected it, an odor at 15, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm able to recognize it. Right now, I think I'm gonna have to clear my nose and go down to seven to see if I can actually pick out the descriptors that most appropriately fit this smell. out of seven. I've got some descriptors in mind from my odor wheel. This is what we would call our recognition threshold now. Uh, next thing we would do after recording the various odors is we would measure the wind and see exactly what direction the wind is coming out of and what the wind speed is because the wind speed and direction can imp can influence and help us determine where what location within the municipality the odor is coming from whether it's coming from a specific industry or a residential or maybe it's a naturally occurring odor because there's a body of water nearby like us here by a river So today we have winds out of the northwest, northeast at about 1.3, 1.4 miles per hour. It's not raining, it's overcast, the humidity appears to be a bit high. And these are all things that we record when we're determining an odor complaint location.